from the News Channel 5 Network, this is Sportsline. All right, everybody, welcome to Sportsline. John Burton with you for the next hour. Great to be with you. Certainly on a day like this, sports seems rather insignificant. Uh, certainly when you consider what happened with the uh, Antioch shooting at the movie theater. Again, thankfully, uh, the suspect was taken care of. And uh, certainly, thankfully, uh, there were no serious injuries. So. Uh, we certainly are grateful tonight on a night like this, but uh, a lot to get to in the world of sports. In just a couple of minutes, we expect to be joined by John Glennon of the Tennessean uh, to get his thoughts on today's Titans practice, a practice that head coach Ken Wisnunt said was rather sluggish today. So we'll get his thoughts uh, on what he saw today. The Titans just about nine days away from their first preseason game in Atlanta against the Falcons. We will be there to cover that game for you. So uh, we're going to get our first look very soon at Marcus Mariota in game action, at least for a couple of series, we hope, uh, down in Atlanta against the Falcons. Speaking of Mariota, again, no interceptions today. Has yet to throw an interception during team drills in training camp. Now, Here's the thing about that, and you can call if you'd like, 615-737-7767. That's great. It, that really is great. But when you're a guy like me who last year predicted the Titans would go 10-6, and six, they went 2-14, and 14, who a couple of years ago predicted that Jake Locker would be a franchise uh, playoff quarterback, he's gone, a guy who's made several bold predictions in regard to the Tennessee Titans that have not come true, Forgive me if I reserve judgment until I see him play in a in game like action. But so far, the uh, the grades have been great on Marcus Mariota. He's a hard worker. He's looked good in practice. But again, I want to see what he does in games before I make any bold Titans predictions. Maybe you feel otherwise. Maybe you've been to practice a couple of training camp practices so far and uh, have gotten a favorable impression of him. If that's the case, I want to hear from you, 615-737-7767. But first, we're going to hear from our good buddy John Glennon of the Tennessee. And Johnny, how are you tonight? I'm doing well, man. How are you, sir? Oh, man, we're doing all right. All right, John. Uh, you know, the biggest, one of the biggest stories in camp is Marcus Mariota. He's impressed the coaches. He's, he's impressed us in the media. He hasn't thrown an interception yet. I was just saying before you came on, you know, I've made a lot of bold predictions when it comes to the Tennessee Titans over the years. None of them have come, tr uh, come true. I, I said Jake Locker would be a franchise quarterback and would lead the Titans to the playoffs, perhaps the Super Bowl. He's gone. I said this team would go 10-6 uh, and six last year. They went 2-14. and 14. So I'm going to reserve judgment until I see Marcus Mariota pl actually play in an NFL game. But still, you've been at every practice. You've watched this guy. Uh, he's looked pretty impressive, hasn't he? Yeah, I, I agree, and, and I think, you know, one of the things that, that stands out is, you know, even even in past years when we had Jake Locker after a couple of years and, you know, uh, you know some other veteran quarterbacks, you know, every now and then you'd see a, a throw out there where you'd just go kind of, you know, what were you thinking there? You know, where, where is that throw coming from? And, you know, what were you trying to do? And, you know, we really haven't seen that from, from Marcus Mariota at all, you know. Uh, not only that he hasn't thrown an interception in the, in the first five days of camp, but he really hasn't come close, uh, you know. And, and even when he's uh, missing receivers, it's, it's not, uh, you know, defensive backs aren't getting a chance to pick him off. And, you know, I mean, uh, as, we, as you said there, I mean, it's, uh, uh, you know, best to probably uh, reserve uh, until we start seeing him in preseason games and regular season games. But, you know, for five days of training camp, I don't, I don't think you could have asked for a better start. Uh, for for a Titans rookie quarterback at the you know at this uh, early point, what surprised you the most about Mariota? Now that you had a chance to see him, you know, up close and personal in practice for five days. You know, I, I think coming in, you know, you know, I, I'd seen him play, of course, a few games last year. I think we all had, and, and uh, you know, I, I certainly knew he was the uh, the great athlete. Everybody knew he was a great athlete, but to me, I, I think the uh, the accuracy uh, that he's shown. Um, you know, and, and, and as, I, as I say also, uh, you know, just the smarts you see out there. He, he uh, you know, for a rookie quarterback, especially, seems to really be poised and, and calm and, and know what he's doing out there. Uh, you know, and, and we don't see him, you know, a lot of guys with the, that scrambling kind of, or that athletic background, 
you know, they, they take off so quickly, uh, you know, especially early in their careers when, when nothing's going on. He, he really hasn't been, done that. You know, we've seen him, uh, you know, take off a couple of times, but more often than not, he, uh, he'll move around in the pocket a little bit and he'll, uh, he'll uh, you know, move outside the pocket, but he won't take off. He'll, he'll look for uh, receivers downfield. John Glennon of the Tennessean covers the Titans. He, uh, he is our guest right here on Sportsline. Appreciate having you on, Johnny. All right, Ken Winsnut calling today's practice a little sluggish, full pads uh, in the morning on a warm, muggy day here in Middle Tennessee after a day off. Uh, but Ken Wisnut seemed to kind of shrug that off because this is what uh, the players and the owners collectively bargained for. You're going to get days off after so many days in camp, and the chances are guys aren't going to come in as fresh. Uh, what did you see from practice today overall? Yeah, you know, I, I thought it was, a, it was a, a decent practice, um, but um, I, I would uh, I would agree it's, it's a tough thing. You know, I, I think a lot of times, and I mean, you see this in, in hockey too, it's uh, uh, it, players they almost have to pay for having a day off. Sometimes you know mm -hmm. it's like uh, you're going to get your day off, but but uh, you better not get too crazy because we're going to bring you in here, uh, you know, right away nine o'clock practice. Um, and and as you said this morning when they got out there, it was brutally hot. You know, I think that was probably seemed to me the hottest part of the day. Uh, um, and and I think that, uh, that that wore on some guys a little bit out there, but. You know, I, I didn't think it was a, an especially uh, sloppy practice. I, I, didn't, I didn't think it was awful by, by any stretch. Um, you know, and, and uh, I think it was interesting, too, that uh, we had our, kind of our first live plays, you know, tackling to the ground. We had one session of those late in practice. And, that, and that's, you know, Ken wasn't obviously had that by design. You know, not only was it uh, a, a tough practice, early morning hot, but he waited until late in the practice to have those live uh, plays, whether it was tackling to the ground, kind of get an idea of, hey, who's uh, who's still with me at this point, and who's gonna who's gonna stand out in these live uh, uh, live tackling drills. John, uh, there's obviously a lot of key areas for the Tennessee Titans this year. One of the one of the areas I've kind of pinpointed is the interior of the offensive line. Talking about Brian Schwenke at center and Chance Warmack and Andy Levitri at the two guards. You know, when you have a rookie quarterback, and you know this, you've watched enough football, it's important to get a running game going, sh you know, shorten the down and distance, keep the third downs manageable. This is a group that's been together for three years, but I really think, I don't want to say it's a make or break year for that group, and I know it takes all five O-linemen uh, to make a running game work as well as the tight ends and the receivers but I look at those three guys they've got to get a better push consistently off the line of scrimmage and they've got to the Titans have to get this running game going especially with a rookie quarterback in there to kind of make life easier for them don't you agree? Yeah, no, I think uh, Ken Wooden had kind of an interesting response when, when you asked him about that today. Uh, you know, he said that one thing he's seeing more from those guys is that they're uh, more they're, they're headed down the field more often during during running plays. They're more often around the pile at the end. You know, they're they're being a little bit more uh, aggressive, and that's something that he uh, he like to see. You know, I, I think there's a lot of uh, upside in those guys, and and certainly Chance Warmack, especially the second half of last year. Really seemed to, uh, to to get it, you know. Uh, the second half of his uh, second season really seemed to, to lock in, and, and uh, you know, I, I think the future is bright for him. I still think Brian Swanky has some, you know, good potential, uh, you know, if he can just stay healthy, and that's, that's been very difficult for him in his, in his first couple of seasons. Um, and, and Andy Levitri, of course, this is the first time that he hasn't really had off-season surgery since he's been with the Titans, so. Uh, it's, that's a good sign for him, you know. And, and really, because of the injuries to Schwenke and Levitri, they haven't really had a whole lot of training camp work and off-season work together, um, you know, over the last couple of years. And so maybe, you know, if, if they do stay healthy as, as, uh, as they have so far, maybe that's really going to help with the consistency and chemistry. Because yeah, as you say, those, those guys are going to be uh, key to, to some of the uh, the running game. John Glenn, our guest, he uh, covers the Titans and the Predators. He's kind of the Swiss Army knife of the uh, Tennessean. So, uh, you know what they say, the more you can do. Uh, John, on the other side of the ball, middle linebacker, obviously Avery Williamson is a lock at one spot. I'm sure they're hoping to, to get a healthy, productive season out of Zach Brown. Assuming that's the case, and you've got Morgan and Arakpo on the outside in that 3-4 scheme, where does this leave uh, Wesley Woodyard? Uh, is is this a guy that's going to be a sub package guy, or is he maybe in danger of not making this club? 
I would think that he's still, you know, odds on uh, to make this this club. You know, uh, he of course is a, you know, he's a solid guy. You know, he's a uh, he's a good tackler. He's he's going to be in the right position more often than not. And you know, on a, on a fairly young team, you know, he, he does provide some of that kind of veteran experience, and and he's a good leader. So I think the odds are that he's going to be on the team. But yeah, you're right. He still has to. Uh, uh, be able to perform and, and maybe some other other duties and you know the challenge for him is maybe can he kind of carve out a little bit of a role for himself uh, you know yeah like you say sort of a, a sub package you know uh, still still remains to be seen what it is but he has to uh, to show I think that he that he's more than just a um, you know the a back a straight backup linebacker at this uh, uh, at this point but. I still think you know he, he does bring uh, uh, value to this team, so I I, I, I think in the end he uh, he still winds up on the roster. As we wrap up here, John, uh, give me one player that uh, maybe surprised you a little a little bit uh, as we've gone through the first almost week of training camp. Well, I'm probably not the uh, the, the first to, uh, to say it, but I you know I, I wrote the other day that I, I've really been impressed with uh, Hakeem Nix. Um, you know, he's a guy who has kind of been kind of downhill about the last two or three seasons, and numbers have been fading, and, and he didn't have, uh, you know, great numbers with the Colts last year, which you figure is a great place to have good numbers for a receiver. But, you know, he's been running with the first team a lot uh, in the off season and training camp so far, and, and uh, you know, good catches, uh, running good routes, and, and uh, showing some, uh, some, some wheels still as well. So I think he, uh, he does still have some life in him. John, we appreciate the time. You know the uh, UFC fighters that were at practice this morning. I do, yeah. Yeah, I got them on as guests. We're coming. Uh, we're coming back with them uh, coming up next. So uh, sure. I wish you were here in studio because that way, if you gave me any trouble, I would have backup. So I, I was going to say, with your background as a, as a heel and a, and a road, uh, you know, we, we could expect some interesting things. So I'll be uh, I'll be sure to uh, to listen into this. Uh, to the next portion here, John. We appreciate the time as always. Great job covering the uh, Titans. We'll talk to you down the road. Okay, thanks, John. All right, that's the great John Glennon covering the Tennessee Titans and the Nashville Predators. He does it all for the uh, Tennessee and giving us his thoughts. As the Titans, uh, a week and change away from their first preseason game against the Atlanta Falcons in Atlanta. Uh, that should be a lot of fun. A week from Friday, I believe, is that first game. All right, when we come back, we're going to switch gears. We got UFC Fight Night coming up this weekend at Bridgestone Arena. Ovin St. Pru, the former uh, UT defensive end, and Dustin Ortiz out of Franklin are going to join us here in studio. We're talking MMA fighting. Philip, I hope you call up and give me some, some, uh, some guff so I can get these guys after you. Anyway, we're back after this. Stay with us.